Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into the price of oil and why it can trend higher, which is counterintuitive to what this president and the administration are doing here in the US, and a few oil stocks that might benefit from these higher oil prices. Now guys, getting into it, we do know that the prices of oil have crashed below $70 on Friday due to renewed Roni fears, but let's get into why the price might trend higher in the near future. Now getting into it, we do note that when President Biden announced earlier last week that the federal government would be releasing 50 million barrels of crude oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, those around him expected prices to go down significantly and stay down. But today we are seeing them trend higher, right? And of course, this is intuitive because we do know when you do increase supply of oil in the market, price tends to fall after it. Now, instead, we're seeing prices rise and OPEC Plus did give a heavy hint it might cut supply which again would run along with this narrative of higher increased oil prices. By Friday, oil prices did fall sharply, but that was due to the new wave of the Roni fears, and has little, if anything, to do with Biden's announcement that oil would be unleashed from emergency stockpiles. Now, this is why we could see $100 crude oil soon. Energy analysts did warn that a release of SPR may not have the desired effect, and this is because they explain that however many barrels the US or its partners in Asia and the UK release, OPEC could withhold more for longer. They explain that SPR crude is sour and refiners don't like it because it needs additional processing to reduce the sulfur content, a process that requires natural gas, which also is more expensive currently. These explanations did fall on deaf ears, but analysts are warning now about $100 breadth, and this can be from the retaliation of OPEC+. It's not going to work simply because the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is not there to try to manipulate price. There's a considerable amount of bets out there that we will see $100 a barrel oil soon. Now, we're also seeing that the battle lines are being drawn and that OPEC and the Saudis can win this in that they are holding all the cards. They can keep more oil off the market than an SPR release can put on the market. If you see WTI getting under $70, then I would expect a response from OPEC+. Plus. And we did see that on Friday. Now, it has bounced back above $72. But it's also important to note that the release of these 50 million barrels from the SPR reserve will not happen overnight. It won't happen over a week either. So it won't be a sudden flood of oil into the market that might drive oil prices lower. So the plan is to offer long-term loans of up to 32 million barrels of crude from SPR and to sell another 18 million barrels over several months. There is no guarantee about the degree of uptake from the oil loans and the 18 million barrels over a few months amount to less than 1 million barrels per day on average, which is very minute. So this overall might not have an effect to lower the price of oil that the Biden administration does want. So we are seeing that OPEC is preparing for a worst case scenario that involves the release of a total of 66 million barrels in January and February. And the cartel itself seems to be aware that the chances of that sort of oil flood happening are next to non-existent. But the important thing is that it's preparing. And according to OPEC sources, while most in the extended OPEC plus group, which does include Russia, feel they don't need to tweak the original agreement of adding 400,000 barrels per day to daily output, there is a stipulation that allows for three months pause in these additions. OPEC alone accounts for 40% of global crude oil productions. The US, the world's largest single producer, accounts for 18.6%. And there's Russia with about 12% global supply, right? So we do see that this 40% and including OPEC plus, which includes Russia, 12% does include 52% of the world's overall supply of oil output. So this is why they do have a stronghold over the price of oil and the US releasing these extra oil barrels might not have an effect. And if OPEC plus does decide to cut supply, this will increase oil further. Now, oil has added about 50% since the start of the year as demand rebounded much more quickly and strongly than anyone seems to have expected. And the overall sentiment is that OPEC Plus has so far resisted all calls for more oil production because they do want to keep the price of oil higher. The cartel has clearly signaled that it's going to do what it decides to and will not defend anyone else's interests, 
Right now, OPEC Plus is interested in higher oil prices. The group seems more worried about more flare-ups of Roni and has cited this risk as a demand constraint that justifies their moderate production boost. Now, on top of that risk of the Roni, they do have those 50 million US barrels of crude coming in, and the next OPEC Plus meeting coming soon might justify higher oil prices. So guys, drop a like if you've been enjoying the video so far, and let's get into the stock charts. Now guys, heading into the charts, these next few stocks stocks right are going to be very contingent on if we do see higher oil prices so keep that in mind i want to show you guys the price of oil and a few companies that might benefit in this increased oil price environment if we do see that now we are looking at the price of oil and we do see that it's bouncing off the 200 simple and exponential daily moving averages this is very important because we do see that it has been a support level that has been tested once before back in august now heading into the weekly chart what we are looking at on the price of oil is this area right is a pretty nice support level and it did line up nicely with the 50 exponential weekly moving average this previous top resistance and bottom support and we did see that when the price did crash under this it did rebound significantly the next week so this is a steady support level for the price of oil and if we were to break under this region we could see a steady decline in the price so keep an eye out for this level right under the 67 dollar mark because if oil does get rejected by the 20 exponential weekly moving average here and can trend higher i would expect a lower price of oil in the near future but again we are seeing some bullish catalysts concerning that opec plus might cut supply of oil so keep that in mind now the first stock i want to talk about is chevron i do think that chevron is much more well capitalized than exxon and does offer a more sturdy business model now if we were going to take a trade on the weekly time frame we have to note that again it is a four percent drop to these lows so if chevron were to drop to this region we might see a further price decline and we have to get out of our trade but Chevron again is meeting also weekly resistance, but it is a very large region and we don't know where potentially Chevron can get rejected. It can be a nice bet to get rejected at the $128 mark, but if we do risk that 5%, if we do trend to the $128 mark, that would be an 8% increase. So it's kind of a 1.5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. So keep that in mind. Now Chevron might not trend that high with lower oil prices, but with higher oil prices, we definitely can see a much higher Chevron. Again, if we're going to take also a flagpole extrapolation from these low regions over here, it does increase the possibility of trending higher to kind of the $135 region if this is kind of our consolidation point. But I would expect that if the price of oil tends to stagnate, Chevron can trend lower and kind of consolidate in this region which might offer a better buying opportunity again chevron has trended up higher over these last few weeks so keep that in mind because we can see a downtrend as well if investors start to take profit now let's get into valero valero is an oil refinery company and we do note that it is up two percent today it has declined ever since the price of oil started trending lower but we do also want to note that valero does benefit slightly from these increased oil prices but as oil prices do increase their costs also increase as well now valero is offering this dip by opportunity and we are retesting a previous level of support now again these are bigger margins and valero can trend lower but if valero does explode off of this news, we can see a trend above this 200 simple moving average, but this is a very staunch rejection level. Keep that in mind, right? This is a rejection level that has been rejected once, twice, and a third time. But we do know that when you test the level several times, the level does get weaker. So if Valero does trend back into this area, there's a higher possibility of a price outbreak. Now, if you guys do want to take a trade on Valero currently, we are up 2% today and it does offer a more risky scenario. So trade with a smaller position and you can take on a bigger risk of around 13% to potentially see if we can trend back to these higher price levels contingent on if we do see a higher price in oil. Now, let's head into kind of the most safest play in this sector and that is the XLE ETF, right? This is an energy ETF that does invest in several oil companies and is a more diversified bet on oil. 
So, if you're looking for the price of oil to trend higher, XLE can be a decent investment. And if you guys see, we do have kind of this 4% risk scenario if the price were to drop lower into this area, right? Because, again, if we do lose this previous support region, which did bounce off of these moving averages, we can trend lower and might get supported in this area. But again, these moving averages are starting to slope up, and that is bullish. So, if we were going to take a trade, again, we can risk that 5%, and we might have a huge breakout to kind of test back to these previous levels, which are pre-Roni levels and pre-oil crash levels. So we do see that the price did trend higher, broke down, but got supported by this previous region and has the potential to trend higher. So keep these levels in mind. I do think it's possible that we might see XLE trend to the $63 mark in the near future or even higher with higher oil prices. And it does offer you the most diversified investment in this sector if you're looking to invest in oil companies. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you're investing into oil companies where you think the price of oil will trend to in the near future and drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.